Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for being a part of this channel. I can't say it enough. Thank you for returning as often as you do. If you are new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. My channel might be a, a lot different than what you're used to running across. I'm not church or religious, but boy, I'm really going to come across real heavy uh, that way to you, I'm sure. Uh, if you didn't know that the scriptures found in the tarot, it absolutely absolutely is found here and so it is honored here I keep all ten of the commandments I have a Hebraic descent and so uh, it's written up on my heart and I, I keep it uh, uh, with everything in me I love Yehovah with everything in me I, I don't call him the universe people call him the universe but I call him by a scriptural name so if you don't know what Yehovah meant it's the name of uh, of the creator of of heaven and earth and he's beautiful and there is none but him everything is at his command and so anyway I'm just um, I'm myself on my channel and I'm just about the truth and loving Yehovah and loving you the same way and fixing things where we've fallen down in the earth everybody has fallen down someplace uh, in their life and so you know you and I have a choice in that moment to go through our process and then look in the mirror and go, I'm ready to either stand up or fall into mischief and try to hide this thing. And my channel looks at a lot of, of just real hardcore energy. You can get anything on this channel at any given time. So if you stick around and just learn me as we go, I feel energy. And so sometimes it could come across real intense and I'm known to just pounce on things at times. And um, uh, sometimes I just boil on the inside at wickedness. I just can't stand it. We're told to hate it. And we're told to, if we're upright and righteous, then we will roar like a lion against it. And so it, it keeps us safe in in uh, in the place where we find ourselves uh, in life. If you don't do that, you will find yourself going down a, a really wrong way. So we have to guard with everything in us and, and to keep that stuff away. And so I do because I've lived a little and I've got a couple t-shirts for living a little just like you, I'm sure. So anyway, my channel might be a little bit different. Uh, I also could come across a little goofy at times because I feel the energy flow. So if you just bear with me I'd appreciate it so anyway if it's your birthday happy birthday if it's an anniversary happy anniversary with all that said let's get in here guys and see what's going on thank you sweet Yehovah for clear to find messages rebuke bind and block every wicked foul dark energy right here right now and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs I just thank you for guarding us Yehovah and uh, leading the path and leading us in, in places of uprightness and righteousness for thy name's sake. Come on in here and just uh, prophesy by way of Yeshua. <sighs> buy the truth and sell it not. Also buy wisdom and instruction and understanding. No matter what it costs. We must buy the truth. Because the truth is what sets us free. What I'm hearing in my spirit. There is no wisdom or understanding nor no counsel outside of Jehovah. You know, people, the scripture says that the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of Jehovah and Jehovah alone. Whoever that's for. We don't lean on nothing and no one else but Jehovah. It's it's cursed any 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 other way. Uh, we have a village and a community outside of the city walls that's been covered with protection from the city coming out here. Um, we also have the tapestry coming out here. I I, I love the tapestry. Um, because, uh, like I always say, as you know, one side of the tapestry is all the guts are there. It's disgusting on one side of it. And you turn it around and it's beautiful. And some people only want to show one side of things and come across, you know, real whatever. And But really, they, they, they might have a lot of beauty on the inside. Uh, and some people, you know... Uh, may come across a hey look at me and they're really ugly on the other side and you got some people that'll show both sides of that tapestry the tapestry also can take us in scripture it can trace you back to um you know cheating and adulterous type of stuff as well and so some of y'all dealing with that kind of stuff then 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 i guess you are uh not everybody is 
but uh, we have the we have the tapestry coming out here maybe you know some type of a wove woven cloth is just uh, prevalent to whatever you hold us fixing to uh, bring out about some ordeal but there's some type of a community here that you hope is bringing out here that's got some type of covering and protection from from uh, uh, the city But like I said, there is no protection or anything outside of Yehovah. We have the shin coming out here. This would be like the world card. It it's a pictograph of a tooth. It looks like a W. It also looks like an E, or you can flip it around. It looks like an M. That might be prevalent. Um, this is about chewing on things and having wisdom and understanding and, and things like that. The shin is also in our English language. Um, we go to our leg area. So if somebody's leg area is prevalent or somebody's teeth is here prevalent in the natural or just somebody's wisdom uh, is here around some something closing out in a very upright way. Uh, than that is here because some people have just been shown one side of something okay and uh, there's 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 two sides that make that whole thing okay something unfair has taken place within some ordeal okay and so we've got community out here that it's affected okay this is also an all-consuming fire in the hebrew something's happened around some type of a trip and some of you all are dealing with adulterous type of stuff then that is here something unfair went down within some ordeal i guess it's showing there's something about an exam here okay let's well, say some type of an exam where your teeth are concerned or your leg is concerned or something like that or what if just you're just examining something energetically because of something unfair that took place and maybe you know the truth now and you're seeing the other side I'm not sure uh, we have thicket energy on uh, the back side of this deck and it states that there's been thorns there's been some type of a, a penetrating um, energy there's um, also some of y'all are dealing with somebody who um, was penetrated in their flesh and possibly they died, uh, whatever that is. Th there's thorns out here uh, penetrating somebody's flesh. We also have um, something about piercings or a nose piercing, chain hooks and bracelets and stuff like that. So whatever that means for you. Could be H connections. The word for thicket is Four H's. Now, four H, maybe something happened, you know, uh, if you go, you know, if you're in ag or something like that, or you're dealing with the teacher or something's happened, I just bring, if you're new, I just bring all kinds of stuff um, out. We also have the letter S here. Did I already say that? I think I said the W and the E and the M, but the, this is the shin, so the S is also here. And then we have 4-H energy or a teacher type of energy is here. So we have an exam as well. So if something went down uh, within a community and since all these connections are out here to something that's happened where somebody got penetrated, there's an intruder also written on that card as well then something's here and we got a bunch of people trying to protect something but there is no protection outside of Jehovah buy the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding go ahead saddle up your horses for the day of battle but safety is of Jehovah there is no wisdom or understanding nor no any counsel outside of Jehovah okay so it's time to use some wisdom here you don't have truth you ain't free we have um somebody hanging on to something i already see that greed card in another uh, another reading somebody knows that somebody's greedy they'd sit there you know um holding on to information holding on to money something happened with the travel trip here we have the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck with this okay well this queen of cups trying to tap in to get some type of um you know intuitive download within some situation this could be somebody that's upright for some of you all some people this is not upright this is manipulative all right so whatever this is somebody's trying to hang on to something there's greed here somebody got penetrated real hard um the ten of pentacles now the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles came out today with the uh, 
the seven of pentacles. There was a lot of pentacles in one of my readings that I did today. Um, and so there, there, there's something very physical here, okay, that's that's taking a lot of chewing on information to understand something because of a tapestry thing that's been here. However, that tapestry energy is playing out for you and somebody got penetrated sexually, then I guess so. Uh, and something happened and somebody came in and did something, has got a lot of money around something, the Ten of Pentacles, or excuse me, this, what, why did I say the Ten of Pentacles? That ain't the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Nine of Cups. Well, there is a lot of money, though, here. It doesn't matter. There is a lot of money because I've already read today. The World card goes back to bank systems. Um, well, that's Ten Cups there with her cup. If there was a celebration going on, something happened at a celebration, somebody's greedy here. Again, anyway, what I was saying, we got, you know, somebody's just showing one side of something. It's really taking a lot of wisdom to chew upon some type of un uh, information for understanding because something's been very penetrating out here within something that's went down. Okay, it could have happened to a child or a child seeing what happened, looking over the wall. Okay, we got a community outside the city walls, okay, covered with some type of protection from the city. Um, but there's some type of a favorable testimony to something here with this little guy, okay. And it's it's emotional. It's emotional out here. Somebody's an overindulger, then somebody's an overindulger. That's also a, a new relationship, okay. Somebody's, you know, dealing with somebody who's got some type of new relationship out here. And they do show both sides, but there's something that's went down. Somebody's trying to hang on, hang on, hang on to something, then and so be it. There's just been something unfair that's happened out here around some misunderstanding. Uh, what's hidden, Jehovah, that we need to understand that it's time for it to come to the surface? Stardom type of energy or exposure or some type of communication could be here because this is the pictograph of the mouth. The letter P is here. Um... This is a, a guided relationship. If somebody has done something out here that was unfair and they only showed one side but you really felt the other way on the other side and something went down, it's been real penetrating within some stupidness. Uh, and somebody got hooked into something and it really it really brought some pain here and somebody just been hanging on hanging on hanging on to something because of something that was said then I guess that energy is here. Something that's fixing to come to the surface is, is something huge. Okay, because the star is known information. Okay, so we've got somebody here talking and looking over the wall and, and giving some type of a communication. We have the lover's card. All right, well, some, something's, some type of choice is going to be known. It's coming to the surface. Give me one more in the secret. That's coming. It's, it's guided. Something's guided around this communication. Okay, um, this is soulmates. Look, if, if somebody, something's going to completely uh, close out here with this world card. Okay? So, whatever's went down secretly that's fixing to be known about with this communication or with this decision about two people that were in cahoots to do something out here. Somebody got penetrated. Okay? Real hard. Within some stupidness. Okay, either connected to school-like energy or it happened at school or whatever the crap happened. Okay, there was a couple of people that were in cahoots to do something that just they didn't even know what was going on for some people. And some somebody told that information, then great, that information's fixing to be known information. If this is upright for some of you all, there's a, you know a couple of people in your in your soulmate group that uh, has decided together we're going to come and heal this we're going to talk we're going to talk because that's how it's come through my spirit and they're going to show another side or both sides of something bring some type of understanding get some wisdom or give you some t they're going to use their wisdom and, and buy the truth and and bring something out here then that's what's showing that's coming to the surface and this is resting after a broken heart this is resting after a broken heart and somebody somebody's been sick because of something that's happened. It's been very penetrating in a very big, deep way. Somebody also got poisoned out here. We have the VW and the Y here, okay, as well. Let me take from my homemade deck. You hope you just pick. I thank you for the truth. No other way to live. 
penetrating otherwise. People just fall in a ditch. Take one of these and another one of these. Somebody is wanting to heal something around this um, communication that's fixing to come to the surface. And somebody has been praying, restore unto me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Okay. Again, we go through this stuff to teach. Okay. Some things have just been so my God, just so stupid. And, and some things for some people, it, it was just a misunderstanding and my God, something just came out of just holy cow. And, and, and you really find out what's in the heart, people, if you don't guard it. Okay, some, some people have died over some stupidness. Okay, the four, four swords is also death energy. And somebody's sick here, or was sick, or did something sick. Because some stupidness, you're sick to just give in to some penetrating stupidness uh, anyway. But uh, if somebody's crying out for the, the joy of Yehovah to, to be restored, then that's what's showing here. If you're dealing with somebody who's a big coffee drinker, then... Or you're connected to somebody who is, that's out here as well. Um, you are respected and there's something truthful. So there's communication coming. Okay, somebody can give a favorable testimony and show the other side of something and both sides of some ordeal and, think, and, and give some type of communication and say, look, you are respected and it's truthful. I'm so sorry that I hurt you this here. Thank you. Uh, people, we need to do that all over the earth. All over the earth. Somebody with red hair with a connection, and we do have drinking energy out here, okay? So, we've got wine showing up here. Um, there is a renewal, uh, and uh, there's some type of, um, okay, I'm going to read all the words on this card. We have a renewal and a destruction, okay? Listen, if you deal with foul people that are seared at their heart and they're part of these thickets and thorns. Jehovah stated they were getting thrown into the fire. This is an all-consuming fire, one of the meanings of the world card. So, in your renewing something for uprightness sake, the other side of that thing is going to be uh, thrown into the fire. And, 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 you know, just energetically, if you're just going to throw the thoughts, the, the, the piercing thoughts away and face the truth and, and take the tapestry for what it is on both sides, then you're going to destroy uh, that wickedness and it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be beautiful. You'll be purified within something here. Something about a circle is here or uh, circling around a large area. We have a community energy here. We also have a generation here. Today I had Black Lives Matter. If you're prejudiced, get off my channel. Uh, but we have something about white here. Okay. We also have uh, some type of a witness. We have it right here. Somebody's given some type of a, a witnessing, seeing something over this wall that's here. Okay. And somebody just been hanging on, hanging on, greedy, 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 hanging on to something. And they've been overindulging within some situation or they've seen something that went down at a celebration. Somebody knows something here. There's a witness to something out here. We also have um, something about a door here. And a doctor is also here. There was a dare around some ordeal that went down. Didn't turn out real good because there was a misunderstanding and something unfair happened out of the thing and it was penetrating and it even brought a, just a poisonous death out here uh yes the, the, there's somebody who's been very bitter uh within this stupidness because we have the seed of satan here that's the thorns that's the thorns out here, man. These people are born by the, 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 the sons of Belial. And they will go ring their bell and pierce themselves in the fire. Okay? And they'll just they'll just turn to ashes because they are going to. They are. We don't care how bitter somebody is. They've, they've literally just seared their soul somewhere. Somebody just so freaking bitter. Go ahead. Be bitter. Let Jehovah just break your teeth. Let him burn you up. Let him let you feel the penetration of what you've done to other people. And uh, he, he goes send some serpents upon you because I just read it out of scripture the other day okay we don't care that you're bitter what you did was wrong if you're not willing to look in the freaking mirror man that's this greed um, you know stubbornness is as a sin of witchcraft and the love of money is at the root of all evil we've got you know, big time thicket 
seeds here that are just rooted in somebody's heart and they're just a seed of Satan and uh, they're very bitter. Well, we don't care. Uh, a bank energy is here. We got money. Like I said, we got money. Somebody's mouth has been muzzled. Okay, and somebody's restrained somebody from, from speaking. Again, we also have, you know, if you're dealing with an animal that was muzzled, okay, and somebody did some freakish nasty, okay, with an animal, we got 4-H type of ag building type of energy here, and somebody's, you know, mu muzzled an animal because the, the mouth of to restrain an animal is here, okay, then, then some nasty is here. Okay, somebody went crazy, and that's why you're freaking seared. Just like the scripture says, you become like a beast. Is your bestiality? You're an abomination. You're out of here. We have a football player, so maybe so somebody. I mean, high school energy is out here, or college energy could be here, uh, or maybe you play NFL. Uh, who knows? We have the whole world here. Um, he that gives to the poor shall not lack, but he that hides his eyes shall have many a curse. Okay, well, if you hid your eyes on somebody and you brought some type of stupid curse and it affected some stupidness, I guess so. A snake in the grass. Well, we have somebody bitter out here. Okay, we have somebody very venomous and somebody's going to get that snake to come to their house because they are, they're nasty. And you'll have stated so that he, that in due time, these people's foot were going to slip and he would, he would send some venomous stupid nasty this is this is the tooth okay they, they will be consumed because all those who leave Yehovah and don't want nothing to, to, to do with the truth of the matter he said they shall be consumed and so you're fixing to be consumed so you you, you little snake in the grass you little venomous nasty you bitter gross disgusting freak that won't look into the mirror you're fixing to meet the great one because he said I meet them face to face those who hate me okay we have America out here okay well, we have america maybe you're from america i'm not sure but boy it's really here uh the land of the free or the land of the freemason or the land of the proud we have third party jealousy issues and and x energy and same interest out here on some ordeal that has went down okay what's fixing to come to surface is something that's led straight from elohim okay and uh, there will be communication about whatever and there will be healing out here and somebody's going to rest after a broken heart and the freak is going to be put down that they, they will be put down you're just going to kill them because he stated so in the scripture that i read the other day we don't want the freaks anymore in the land. Um, yes, we deal with somebody who's dealing with, you know, medication issues. This is tribulation room. It's, it's the laboos. It represents water, okay? Uh, introspection and stuff like that. Um, spirituality is out here. It's also some type of humiliation that needs to be overcome. Some, something's happened. Somebody did something nasty to somebody because of something unfair took took place, and somebody just penetrated somebody just energetically, and uh, that that's that's been very humiliating to to, to 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 people, especially you know somebody did something on purpose. Uh, and thought it was funny, and it wasn't, and, and people have been humiliated. And that's just an ethical of you. Okay, here comes the sword. Okay, we have the skull underneath that. I mean, obviously, maybe you like skulls. I don't know. But, but uh, we, we have something about the head area here. Uh, I'm hearing skull and bones as well. Stupidness. We have the sea and terror and, and a working water, which takes us back to FBI energy as well. We have a please forgive me underneath that. So if you're going to look at the truth, and you really can hear today, and you're gonna you're gonna buy the truth and sell it not, then you will be forgiven. You'll throw these thicket thorns away, okay? And then there will be something positive for you. This is what come out for this reading, Shalom.